here with another review. This one is the Curio Kids Tablet. I surprisingly got this from a thrift store for $2. And I couldn't pass up the deal. And the funny thing is, it actually works. So, obviously, this is the adult screen. Uh, and you got the kids profile. And there's a little bit on the slugger side. So that's the kid's side. Go into here. And no surprise, my password. This is nothing major. It's only on this tablet, so. And the password's going to be changed by the kid put the password in okay and then to like add things you're gonna go to the parent profile obviously Profiles and go to the kids side. And simply way you add all kinds of games. It's a little bit sluggish, as I said. So you'd go to app management, and this is where you you can choose what games are on the kids side. So obviously, given a lot of different things. It is a little difficult to figure out what games to put on there, depending on the age group and the child. But it's all Android based, so pretty much any Android app, any Android app will work. And you also have time management, so you can obviously limit the days of the week and how much time and everything else the kid has. Yeah, different access modes depending on what age you have them. You can do no internet access, full internet access. But other than that, on the parent side, it's pretty much a full functional tablet. On the kid side, you can limit the internet usage and what's going to get used, block payments, everything. Uh, so overall, I'd say this is a really great tablet, especially when I got it for so cheap. And overall, I like this tablet. I'm sure the kid will like it too. Uh, so, yeah, this is... Uh, Pretty much concludes that review. And remember, if you like this review, as always, give it a big old thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Computer Testic. Hope you guys have a great day and check out the Curio tablet today. Have a good one. Bye. Guys, back to the review. Uh, this is more of a realistic review. Uh, obviously, I didn't tell you anything about the device other than the various apps and it really makes no sense. I don't know why you just watched that. But, anyways, uh, the speakers, there's speakers on both sides. They stick out like that. So it's kind of cool. Covered by the rubber. You have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. What? A headphone jack? Yeah, it's not an Apple device, so that's why. <laughs> uh, the mini. The, it's mini HDMI and obviously the micro USB port that you use to charge it. On the top you have the power button and the volume up and volume down button. And that's pretty much it. There is a micro SD card slot. Um, let me take the case off for you so you can see the micro SD card slot. So this is the tablet itself without the case. Everything is labeled which is kind of interesting. So that's kind of cool, but it doesn't do you much good without the screen protector off, or the rubber off. So there's your power buttons. It's a pretty nice looking tablet for sure. And your SD card slot was down here. So there's your micro SD card slot. It's got a really decent looking screen. And I have a feeling this is going to be a great tablet. It 
definitely for the price, I, I can't complain. So, yeah, this will conclude the review, finally. This is actually a more realistic review. Obviously, you do have a camera on the front and back as well. So, yeah. Definitely check out the tablet, like I said before. And if you do like this review, definitely give it a big old thumbs up. Give me guys an opinion of how I should do these reviews. I, I work out for your input. I haven't really got too much feedback on that. But input would be nice. Makes it a lot easier to figure this out and decide on how to review. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. Thanks. I am Computer Testic. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.